Okay, for the videos everyone's been waiting on, my you part with tutorial. Okay, so we're gonna start from the basics. I'm gonna go very slow and detailed with my video, just because I don't like getting the same questions asked. So this will be in different parts. First off, you need one of these styrofoam heads. Find this at the beauty supply store, Sally's. Girl, you can buy me anywhere. Yeah, you really can buy this thing anywhere. Specific sizing, they come with this that you can also buy this little, I don't know what to call it, but I have like two of them at my mom's house that you stick in here and you can screw it to your table. That's what mostly everybody use, but honestly, I don't like using that thing because I go so much quicker when I just put this in my lap or just sitting on the bed sewing. So, but you can definitely buy those if you want to um, use that. You also may need these. This, these are wig pins. I'm not quite sure if these are beneficial to you, but I find myself, you know, using them off and on. You know, just positioning the wig and making sure it doesn't slip or anything. So they come in handy. I got these from Sally's. And this one is just the dome cap uh, from Sally's. Smooth fit in black. This is what it looks like. It's dude on the front. Do on the front, think he's cool. Yes, that's him. There he goes again. Mm-hmm. Proclaim. Proclaim. Dome cap. Regular old cap. It has a little spandex on the sides, which I find beneficial um, while sewing in it. It is beneficial. Um, gives you a little more room to play with if you want to change the position of it to the side or in the middle or something. So this is what it looks like. Stretchy. At first I was worried about it not being um, small enough for my head but or big enough but honestly this will fit anybody's head. Okay, I believe it will. Um, once you start sewing and seeing how it's done you'll understand more. Um, I kind of like to use this right here. The middle of it has these two lines. I kind of try to use this as my focus point of the wig, the middle part of it because it's easier to kind of see where I need to stop it and where my part's gonna be, so make sure it's easy. I like to sew mine on. It's easier to do a quick weave with it with glue, but um, I'm doing that with this short, yes, you heard me, super short hair, um, bump hair that I got. I'm gonna do a tutorial on how to make that, but for now, I'm using a sew and technique with my thread you get from the Beauty Supply Store in black. They sell it in brown. If your hair is brown, you can use brown. About thread. six needles at a time, so I have to rethread as much. I double thread mines like this with a little ball point at the bottom. So, curved needle, six of them. We've already using my um, doll face galore hair, um, which is this right here. It's very pretty hair, but the reason I haven't done a review yet is because I can't figure out how to blend this with my hair for nothing in the world. I cannot figure out how to blend it. Um, it's too silky and too straight for me, um, but this hair is it's crazy gorgeous like It's so pretty. It's just gorgeous hair. I just you know how I am with super straight hair I can't do nothing with it. So I'm gonna still try and do something with it I will have a video on this, but I'm just showing you to show you how the cap should come out It will look like this don't mind these these come out because it's from the styrofoam but it should look like this when you're finished. And for mine, um, I don't go all the way at the bottom. Um, later on, I can go and add some um, hair down here. Because sometimes when I sew it, I kind of like the hair to look like it's coming out of my scalp. I can't explain it, but it's the way I sew mine down that I don't need to put hair all the way at the bottom. But I'm going to do it for this wig because I have a lot of hair. Um, also over here, this is where the spandex is. And that's why I say it comes in handy because... That's kind of your guide as when you're sewing. You don't need this much out when you're sewing it, but as time goes on, you can go and snip more and more off once you get more comfortable with sewing it down. So that's why I said the spandex side is very helpful. Um, I don't sew all the way to the um, ends. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Um, for this one, I didn't. But it doesn't really matter. It depends on how you feel about it. This, all I did was cut it down the middle. And this is how it looks. So as you see, um, most likely I'll go and fold this. See how that is? And then I'll just sew it down so it's be a more a neater um, closing point. 
but for the most part this is all and that's what you should get so think of it as an invisible part and you just come down the middle so this is what our finished project project should look now, like we'll be using it's from in our hair group i had this hair for a while yeah i was so anxious to put it in so i'm gonna make a wig out of it um i have their malaysian wavy hair this time it hasn't been washed yet or anything um, i'm just gonna show you how the hair looks so pretty i actually have two 20s but i'm just gonna call it 18 because you know i'm gonna cut it <laughs> So this is the 16. So none of this hair has been cut yet. I'm gonna, I mean, wash it. I'm gonna wash it and stuff when I'm finished with um, making it. So this is gonna be our demo hair for the U part. And I'll be back in the next video um, showing you how to do it. But this is the basic 101 video with all the things you need. So I don't get any questions. So yeah, in the next video.